BlackFacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Jose Pena Gomez Mr. Pena Gomez was one of the most outstanding black political figures in all of Latin America and the Caribbean, and a true hero in the hemisphere. Mr. Pena Gomez was born on March 6, 1937, in Valverde to parents of Haitian descent. Pena Gomez was adopted as an infant by Simon Pichardo and Andrea Rodriguez de Pichardo, a Dominican peasant family, when his parents had to flee to Haiti where they died as Haitian victims in order to save their lives as the Dominican dictator Rafael Trujillo enacted the Parsley Massacre against Haitians that same year. He became an instructor in a literacy program for poor children in his native province of Valverde, and later worked as a teacher in night and rural schools. He soon became an avid supporter of the Dominican politician and intellectual Juan Bosch, leader of the Dominican Revolutionary Party, PRD, a moderate left-of-center Social Democratic Party. Bosch was elected to the presidency in 1962, as the first Democratic president of the Dominican Republic in 30 years, but his government was ousted in a military coup on September 25, 1963. During this period, Pena Gomez assumed the leadership of the PRD, and in 1965 he went on Radio Santo Domingo to call for a popular insurrection against the coup and for the reinstatement of Bosch as president. He was successful in inspiring thousands of Dominican youths to take to the streets and confront the military. This insurrection led to a civil war in the Dominican Republic. U. S. President Lyndon Johnson ordered a military invasion to prevent what he feared was a possible communist movement within the country. In December 1973, Bosch formed the Dominican Liberation Party. Under Pena's leadership, the PRD won the presidential election in 1978 and 1982, and he himself was mayor of Santo Domingo from 1982 to 1986. His period is mostly remembered for the creation of the Plaza Gibia, on the seaside boulevard and plantation of ornamental trees in Mayor Santo Domingo City Avenues. By 1994, the PRD was solidified and motivated, and Pena was once again the party standard bearer in the presidential election. Pena lost to Balaguer in an extremely tight election marred by numerous irregularities. After intense negotiations, Balaguer announced that he would leave office prematurely in 1996 after serving seven terms in power. In the 1996 poll, Pena won the first round of voting but fell short of the majority needed. In the second round of voting, Lionel Fernandez, a lawyer representing the PLD, won a narrow victory due to an alliance between the PLD and Balaguer's PRC. Pena Gomez's life would soon come to an end, as he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 1994. He died on May 10, 1998 in San Cristobal, Dominican Republic. Learn more at blackfacts.com.